This is Petar Panic. He's a Serbian mobster with a long and violent rap sheet. And also, journalists can now report linked to some of the country's most powerful politicians. In the 1990s, Panic was charged with dozens of crimes. On a talk show in 1997, Panic's boss at the time quarrelled with another guest. In retaliation, Panic severely beat the man, who later appeared on television with a bruised face, his eyes swollen shut, and a bandaged nose. Panic's boss immortalised the event by telling the media the injured must have slipped on a banana peel. In another case, Panic dug a hole in the ground to build a newsstand. When a man discovered the hole in front of his house, he started filling it back in. Panic paid him a visit, which included a pistol whip to the head. This is where things get even more interesting. Panic's court hearings in both cases were delayed by months due to questionable sick notes written by a doctor. One read strict bed rest for 10 days. It was for an injury over a year old. The doctor who wrote the notes wasn't just any doctor, but Zlatibor Lonchar, Serbia's current Minister of Health. He's the same controversial minister who, just a few years earlier, was alleged to have murdered a mob boss. And Lonchar isn't the only prominent Serbian politician Panic has ties to. By searching Panic's Facebook profile, journalists found pictures of the criminal with many others, including the Minister of the Police, a former president, and a former member of parliament. Most bizarre are pictures of Panic and Serbia's current president, Aleksandr Vucic, showing them together on a banana boat, in the office, and at a celebration for the birth of Panic's child. It seems the mobster and the president have at least a 20-year history. <laughs>